should not do is fail to distinguish between what is actually criminal and what is just mistaken behavior, what is even reckless risk taking, and not bow to the frenzy. Oh, just mistaken behavior. You wouldn't want to bow to the frenzy and actually prosecute any of the bankers. So she's, of course, not picked despite her saying that she won't prosecute bankers. She's picked because she says she won't prosecute bankers. All right, now I'm bringing in Michael Schur, of course, our political columnist, uh, correspondent here, I should say, and David Sirota is a syndicated columnist and journalist, author of Back to Our Future, among other books, and he joins us now, too. David, you wrote about this earlier today. Uh, what's your take on uh, the Obama administration's signal here uh, to the bankers? In a sense, it's, a, it's, a, it's an amazing political pick in that the Obama administration, I think, is banking on the idea that the elite media and politicians will see the word prosecutor in Mary Jo White's resume and say, well, that must mean she's tough on crime. They'll forget the idea that she hasn't been a prosecutor for a decade and that in that decade interim, she's been defending uh, the biggest, most powerful Wall Street CEOs in the country. So politically, I think it's banking on voters, banking on the elite media, simply uh, not knowing who Mary Jo White really is. I think as a citizen, as somebody concerned with the fact that the administration hasn't prosecuted a single Wall Street banker connected to the financial crisis, I think this is a terrible pick. I think, this, I think Wall Street is, is celebrating right now, saying the person who's in at the SEC looks like she's going to get tough on us, but we know that she has a record of defending our interests. Right, and New York Times also explains that it turns out she's not going to face much opposition from the Republicans. Wow, I didn't see that coming. That's shocking. <laughs> yeah, right. Now, Michael, obviously David and I are clear on this. What's your take? I totally agree with you, I, you know, which is not something we always do. But, uh, <laughs> no, I think, that it, I think it's actually pretty shocking that this uh, appointment came down. You know, the only – I was trying to think about what the only reason – maybe David has some insight into this – the only reason they could have made this choice uh, is that they feel like she would be good at – implementing the Dodd-Frank rules that came out of the Congress and have not really been in implemented to their fullest extent. Uh, and, and that's a stretch. I mean, man, I was trying to think of why can they I, did can this. I, can, yeah. I, can I cut in there? I mean, yeah. because that really is a stretch, and I'll tell you why. There's two reasons why. One, she doesn't have much experience, if very much experience in terms of big experience, dealing with the securities industry. She's been somebody who's been known as prosecuting uh, terrorism. The other, the other point in, in this, which got very little mention, is that her husband is currently at a law firm, a private law firm, that has been lobbying to weaken those, those regulations. Now, I don't want to imply that, that, that spouses automatically do what each other want them to do in their professional jobs, but if you put all of it together, I can't believe that's the reason they're putting her in there. Yeah. And, and the thing that bothers me most, guys, and we're out of time here, but is this revolving door that David writes about, we've all talked about. They, they go into government, then they go get paid millions of dollars by law firms to defend those guys that they didn't prosecute in government. Then they go back into government not to prosecute those guys. And when Mary Jo White comes out, you can guarantee her a million-dollar paycheck for not prosecuting the guys she won't prosecute at the SEC. Yeah, and what, one thing that uh, Harvey Pitt, who was one of the abject failures in that job, said she was a great choice. Enough said. <laughs> All right, well, that's a perfect exactly. note. Perfect note to leave it on. David, Michael, thank you.